when was the last time someone held your hand, gave you a hug, or gently stroked your back? If you can't remember, you're not alone. But many of you really resonated with our video, what to do if you're touch starved, and it's clear that this has become a widespread issue. In fact, one study found that a staggering 73% of people report feeling a touch gap, meaning they receive less physical affection than they'd like. It's a heartbreaking statistic because touch is such a fundamental part of being human. Touch isn't just a comfort, it's a necessity. Every time our skin feels the warmth of another person's touch, our brain responds by releasing a cascade of feel-good chemicals that boost our mood and help strengthen our bonds with others. The science behind this is fascinating, and today we're going to dive into the powerful impact of touch and what it does to our brains. It begins at birth. Imagine a newborn baby curled up on their parents' chest. That gentle skin-to-skin -skin contact is more than heartwarming. It's life-shaping. Affectionate touch during infancy plays a critical role in a baby's development, especially brain development. Babies who receive consistent touch grow up with better emotional and stress regulation, stronger immune systems, and even a more developed sense of the world around them. On the other hand, it was also found that babies who grew up neglected and lonely tended to have lower IQ scores, poor problem-solving skills, and struggled with learning to speak and understand language. The key areas of the brain responsible for emotions and social interactions were also underdeveloped. Essentially, touch builds the foundation for how we experience and respond to life. Four hugs a day, keep the doctor away. Think of hugs as your body's built-in stress relievers. When someone wraps their arms around you, it's not just comforting. It triggers a cascade of physiological changes in your brain. Here's how it works. Physical touch during a hug activates your parasympathetic nervous system, often called the rest and digest system. This system counters the effects of the fight or flight response lowering your heart rate, reducing blood pressure, and calming your mind. One of the key players here is cortisol, the stress hormone that spikes during moments of anxiety or tension. Research shows that getting at least four hugs a day can significantly lower cortisol levels. So if you've been feeling frazzled, maybe it's time to seek out a hug or four. Natural ibuprofen. Picture this. You're anxious before a big exam or in pain after stubbing your toe. And someone takes your hand. Almost instantly, you feel lighter, calmer, and more in control. Why? Because holding hands releases endorphins. One example of this is childbirth. When the father tightly holds the mother's hand, offering comfort and support as the endorphins help ease the pain. It's also been found to lower activity in the areas of the brain linked to anxiety, making touch a powerful and completely natural way to manage discomfort. It's like a mini dose of ibuprofen, no prescription needed. Touching hearts. Ever heard of oxytocin, the cuddle hormone? It's a brain chemical released through affectionate touch that deepens bonds and fosters feelings of connection. Whether it's a hug from a loved one or a comforting pat on the back. Oxytocin creates a sense of trust and intimacy. It doesn't just make you feel good, it can also strengthen relationships and improve your overall mental well-being. And surprisingly, it's not only humans who feel the surge of oxytocin. Some studies show that petting our fluffy pets releases oxytocin too, not just in our brains, but in theirs as well. Skin deep. Here's a fun fact. Your skin has specialized nerve fibers called C-tactile afferents that are hardwired to respond to gentle strokes. When activated, these fibers send signals to your brain's emotional control center, which is also responsible for pleasure and bonding. This is why a soothing touch feels different than just bumping into someone in a crowd. It's not just a physical sensation, it's an emotional one. 
Studies have shown that activating these fibers can help lower stress levels, reduce feelings of loneliness, and even improve mood. In fact, some researchers believe that these fibers evolved to strengthen human connections, making us wired to thrive in communities. It's like your brain saying, this feels good because it's good for us. These are just a few ways touch impacts your brain. But the main takeaway is physical touch isn't just a nice to have, it's a need to have. So here's something to ponder. When was the last time you truly felt the power of touch in your life? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, give it a like, share it with someone who might need a reminder of how impactful touch can be. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Like the surprising signs of touch starvation. Thanks for watching and take care.